2, 1 to 18. Naomi lived in a town called Bethlehem. There wasn't enough food there, so she and her husband went to live in a place called Moab. They had two sons who married women in Moab called Orpah and Ruth. Sadly, Naomi's husband and sons died, so she decided to go back to Bethlehem. Ruth went with her. They didn't have enough to eat, so Ruth used to go and pick up grain in the fields. One day she went to the field of a man called Boaz. We met his mum yesterday. He saw her and he was impressed by how well she looked after Naomi, how hard she worked and how beautiful she was. He asked her to marry him and she said yes. They were married and had a son called Jesse. Do you know what Boaz was like before he got married? He was a ruthless man. <laughs> <laughs> so our reflection um, says this do you ever feel like an outsider like you don't fit in or maybe at school when you're playing a game that everyone else is better at than you or maybe when all your friends are talking about something which you don't really know much about I sometimes feel like this when people talk about football or anything sport related actually Ruth might have felt like that too sometimes because she was not an Israelite she came from a different tribe than all of the other people of Israel. But after her first husband and his wife died, she married a man called Boaz. And he looked after her and they were happy together. And they had a son and this son would one day be the granddad of King David. And this means that King David was Ruth's great grandson. And one day Jesus was to be born in Bethlehem from the family line of David and his descendants. So Ruth, a woman from outside Israel, finds herself on Jesus' family tree. So let's end with a prayer. Thank you, Jesus, that all are welcome in your family. Help us to follow you like Ruth did, even when we might find it hard. Amen. Amen. <laughs>